Hello and welcome to the Harris Organ at First Friends Church in Whittier. Today we begin a 10-week series of videos exploring 10 individual voices or stops of the organ. We will give a little background, show you the pipes, and play some music featuring that stop. Today, we will be looking at the foundation stop for this whole organ, the Prestant 8 foot in the Great Division. Prestant comes from the Latin prestare, to stand in front. The name generally indicates a stop whose pipes are in the front of the organ case where they are visible in the church. The name prestant usually refers to a four-foot stop and montre, to show or display, is used for the eight-foot stop. The meanings are fairly interchangeable and here David Harris has chosen the name prestant. These pipes are from the family of organ tone called principles or open diapasons. Principles produce the characteristic sound of the organ. They are usually found in each division of the organ and are found at different pitches, which form a principal chorus. The eight-foot principal, in this case, prestant, is usually the foundation stop for the entire organ. All of the other stops are scaled and voiced to be harmonious with it. The pipes are generally open metal pipes, though they can be made of wood. Typically, the pipes produce a certain gravity of tone. The even-numbered harmonics are strong, which produces a moderately bright sound. Principal tone can vary slightly depending on national, school, or time period. For example, 19th century English and American organs often had very huge and bright open diapasons that could fill a church without any other stops drawn. Baroque Germanic principles were smaller in scale and gentler and used less wind an important factor when organs were winded with human power. French principles were broad, but not too bright. In our organ, the eight-foot prestant has some pipes in the facade and others behind on the great wind chest. The facade pipes are made of copper. The ones behind are made of tin. Our pipes have a tuning slot on the back, which gives them a certain tone quality that is different from the average principle that has tuning slides. Hello, and welcome to the great and pedal divisions of the organ at First Friends Church in Whittier. This week we're looking at the Prestant 8 foot stop. Um, some of these pipes here, these copper pipes, are of that rank. Um, they continue um, to the large ones into the pedal, which is um, called other things, but this is the precedent in this area. Notice, please, the, that they have tuning slots. The pipes are a little bit longer than they would normally need to be about here for a normal um, principle that was on a wind chest that was not in for show, but show pipes are usually a little longer so that they can have an even appearance um, without being able to see the, the tuning slots and whatnot. Um, this section along here is where it continues on to the wind chest. Here is the typical pressed on pipe. It's open on the end. It has a moderate scale. 
the, the scale is the relationship of the width of the pipe to the length. So these are fairly moderate. It has a mouth, of course, and ears, which shape the tone and make it speak properly. On the back side, you'll see the tuning slot. Um, that can be moved up and down in order to tune the pipe and match the other, other, um, other uh, pipes sounding. Um, when the air comes in through the toe, it comes to this little narrow way and the wind hits this upper mouth, upper lip, and th it splits the wind stream so that it vibrates inside and outside and the column of air inside vibrates at the pitch that's determined by the length of the pipe and that's what produces the tone. Here's what this one sounds like. Other pipes in the area are the chimney flute, a spitz flute, which are tapered pipes, and the quintadina, which is a 16 foot stop, and we'll look at that some other time. But this is the 8 foot press stunt of the organ at First Friends, here and here. Now I will play some music using the press stunt 8 stop. Listen carefully to the color of the sound. Is it bright or mellow? Does it sound relaxed or forced? So this has been our exploration of the press stunt, eight foot. I hope you have found it interesting and have learned something new. Please feel free to post comments or questions below and I will answer them when I can. Please check the next e-news for a link to next week's video, which will feature the Bourdon eight foot. Thank you for watching.